Well, a shooting and then a crash in Warren. We followed this first as breaking news earlier this week. New tonight, we're getting a clearer picture of how it went down and the person police say may be responsible. First News reporting to Dean Grimley has those brand new details. Tonight, Shondon Flowers is in the Trumbull County Jail, held on charges of failing to comply with a police officer and driving under suspension. Police say he led them on a chase with his mom in the passenger seat Tuesday, crashed the white Ford he was driving into another vehicle on Page Avenue and ran. But the chain of events started about 45 minutes before that when Flowers' dad was shot on Briar Street. Witnesses described seeing a small white Ford leave that scene and possible suspects run towards Burton Street. Burton is one block away and then at least one of the individuals, if not more, were seen going into, going into this house which directed our officers to the Burton Street. Police say as part of the investigation, they searched the home on Burton Street and found four firearms, ammunition, some drugs, and packaging material inside. Back at the scene of the crash, investigators say they found drugs in a digital scale inside Flowers' car. Somebody nearby also pointed officers to two handguns they found on Page Avenue. Now, as part of the shooting investigation, police executed a search warrant at an apartment on the second floor of this building behind me. They say they found several things inside, including six additional weapons, plus 40 grams of suspected heroin and cash. That apartment, the address flowers, his mom and dad all share. Even one gun off the street is important, but to get 12, and, and that wouldn't have been possible without the quick response of the uh, Uniform division and without the witness is uh, pointing our officers in the right direction. But Flowers' family tells me he didn't have anything to do with drugs. They admit he didn't have a license, but say he was just trying to get his mother home before he got scared and took off. Police say their investigation is ongoing and more arrests are expected. In Warren, Nadine Grimley, WKBN 27 First News.